Good morning from Port Canaveral, Florida. This is Julia bringing you coverage of B1051.4, returning to Port Canaveral after the seventh Starlink mission. In my viewfinder right now, you will actually see GoQuest returning as they have already done the crew transfer process and their part of the mission is basically complete. When they do crew transfer to Of Course I Still Love You, what happens is that crew is now on deck to help secure the lines to the booster and ensure that they have a safe entry into port. It usually takes about three tugs to birth Of Course I Still Love You. Hopefully today I'll be bringing you the majority of the process. Um, it doesn't exactly happen very quickly, but step one is crew transfer. Step two is actually hooking up to the tugs and then beginning the entry into port. And then they'll berth at the uh, North Cargo Pier 6. After berthing, there will be the whole process with the crane where they have to put the cap on. And then after that, they'll move it to the stands. And from there, we'll see whether or not they raise the legs or they have to remove them. Once it goes off the stand, it will return to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station where they will process it for another flight. So I'm going to let you enjoy the views of GoQuest coming in and then hopefully B1051.4 arriving into the channel. If we look very closely, you can see by that metal framework, there was a booster just barely peeking out there. You can just barely see the wing of, of course, I still love you, creeping around the edge of that vessel in front of me. So when you see it next to something that is relatively vertical in front of us there is a little bit of a lean to b1051.4 and there it is rounding the corner to the channel you can see that the tugs wait a little bit ahead of the barge and that is just because they don't necessarily need to hook up they just need to be there in case shall we say there is some event with wind that could potentially knock the booster and the barge off course. In that case, then you've got tugs at the ready in order to stabilize any event that could be happening. It is quite the hazy morning here in Port Canaveral, so we are looking at a backlit booster Although I must admit the scene is really pretty today. We've got the birds taking flight, a booster coming home. This is why this is my happy place, y'all. And I'm glad I can bring this view here 
for you right now. So as the booster gets closer, you can see just how that tug escort works. You've got Finn Falgott, who is actually at the lead for this mission and was the tugboat who took, of course, I Still Love You out to the landing zone and then back to Port Canaveral. Hawk is still doing tender work down in the south region of Florida. So I look forward to their potential return. In the meantime, you can enjoy the views of this tug, which actually, she's a beauty. And although she's backlit, you can get a little bit of an idea of what she looks like. Another way to get views of the vessels you see here, like our port tugs, Florida, Eagle, um, Finn Falga, you can actually go on marine traffic. And that is the app I use to track ships, but it has an extensive database with user um, driven photos that'll give you an idea of what the vessel looks like that you're looking for on the horizon. We should see Octagrabber in play on deck. The role of that unique piece of hardware is it will deploy after landing. It deploys out of the garage. Once it is deployed, it can actually get scoot underneath the booster and the arms will raise up and it'll secure at the hold points, which are the same as the ones um, the boosters held down at the launch pad. Now, the Octagrabber is actually basically remote controlled. And that, I believe, can be controlled not only from the uh, ship, like from GoQuest, but it can be controlled as far away as Port Canaveral or even Hawthorne. Here's that closer view of the booster as it's coming in. And what I'll be doing is actually bringing this shot out a little bit for you as it is too hazy to really catch details as it's passing by. And I'm going to go down on the dock so I can take some finer detail pictures to share with y'all.
Thank you so much for joining me here in Port Canaveral this morning for the return of B1051.4, which flew on the seventh Starlink mission earlier this week. As you can see, they are wrapping up docking operations and we'll soon be putting the cap on and being able to move that to the stand. This will end my coverage for the day so that I can go and edit some photos and uh, show you what the uh, scorch of a four, uh, four time flown booster looks like. Feel free to join us on uh, Twitter at NASA Space Flight. We've also got NSF Live, which is every Saturday at approximately 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And of course, we've got Mary in Texas bringing you more Starship views. Until I see you again at the next launch, stay safe, be well.